Hi everyone, welcome to your workout today. Today's workout is going to be a level three workout and my intention is for us to flow from one exercise to the next. So if you're still getting used to the classical Pilates order or if you're still used to or getting used to the level three stuff, take this at your own pace, pause, um, and then come back to it and keep doing it over and over again and I promise you, you're only gonna get better. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start at the very end of our mats. We're gonna step one foot in front of the other, the toes are slightly turned out. Layer your hands one on top of the other with the top arm pushing down, the bottom arm pushing up. Reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Now take a moment to settle into your body here. Okay, how does it feel? Okay, then from there, lift your heels up just a tiny bit. Bend your knees and slowly start to sit down. Trying your best to sit down with as much control as you can. Once your bum hits the mat, scoot your hips to the middle of the mat and roll down just to the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Bring those knees into your chest, start to pump those arms and find your breath. Make sure you're pumping those arms vigorously. Now it is a level three wor workout, so we wanna warm up, right? So let's extend those legs long and low and pump the hands on top of the thighs. Even if it's not purely happening, you wanna think about the back of your waist pulling in towards the mat. We're gonna pass through this position to get into our teaser later on. Three more breaths. Press the legs together, reach the toes away from your head. Last two. Last breath. Bend the knees into your chest, rock yourself up to a seated position. Okay, so keeping the knees together if that's comfortable for you, otherwise separate them. Arms reach forward, round your spine. Start to roll back behind your sit bones. Pause once you've gotten halfway, your spine looks like a capital letter C. Make sure the chin is off the chest, and then round forward. Again, roll back halfway. And come forward. So this movement is gonna layer into our full roll up. Are you moving from your pelvis? So pull the back of your waist towards the mat behind you. And then rounding forward. One more like this. <laughs> I'm like on the creakiest spot of my floor. Okay, now straighten out those legs, flex the feet, round forward even more, and do the same thing. Roll down, but this time go all the way. Reach those arms back, lift the arms, reach towards those toes. Three pulses. All right, we roll back down. Arms reach back. Try to press down into the back of your body, the back of your spine, when you're coming up. Three pulses. Hey, we're gonna go into our roll up next, but we're gonna do this two more times and use this to prepare you. Sorry, we're gonna go into our roll over next. So that's where we bring our legs up and over our head towards the wall behind us. Last time. All right, and then we're gonna roll all the way down. Stretch those arms backwards for a moment and then lower your arms down into the mat. Okay, so now join your legs together, bring your knees into a tabletop position and get the back of your body cemented to the floor as well as your arms. Now straighten your legs out on the diagonal, curl your hips up off the floor to bring your legs overhead. Separate your feet, roll your spine down. Legs go away, together. A little bit of momentum here, but it's mostly in the pelvis and the arms. Separate, roll down. So you're doing a huge pelvic curl in order to get those legs to come up. Okay, now we're gonna keep the legs apart. Roll over. Make sure your legs aren't dead here. They're still super straight, roll down. Separate the feet, and remember, you're never rolling onto your neck. You're balancing between the shoulder blades. Roll down. Last time before our single leg circle. Legs together, roll down. All right, now we're gonna leave the right leg up in the air, pointed, lower your left foot down, flex it, and we go into our circles. Across, down, around, and up. Okay, five in total. 
Finding your breath, reverse for five. Left leg digs into the ground for stability. All right, then from there, you're gonna lift the left leg up, lower the right leg down, ready yourself, and then circle, five. Going across the body each time. All right, let's go the other way, five. Getting a foot cramp here, two. All right, rolling like a ball. So we want this to flow. Legs are out, arms reach out. We're gonna roll up, reach to the toes. Take a second there, stretch, stretch, stretch. Then you're gonna place your hands by your hips and move your bum towards your heels. Reach your arms around and grab your feet, sorry, grab your ankles, knees apart, feet together. Looking down towards your pelvis, when you're ready, roll to the shoulders and then balance up. Lift your elbows, connect your arms into your back. If you want more of a challenge, you're gonna hold your right leg with your left hand and vice versa. So I'm kind of crossed, okay? Rolling back and then coming up. Three more. Last two. Maybe finding that breath, inhale and exhale. All right, place the feet down, move your hips back, roll down. Stretch your arms backwards for a second, reach and stretch the fingertips and toes away from one another. Circle your arms out to the side, bring your right knee into your chest, lift the chest and shoulders up, lift that left leg off the floor. Two pulls in, switch, one, two, switch, one, two. Okay, we're gonna do six. We're not gonna take a break when we go into that double leg stretch or that hollow body hold. Last three. Reach your leg out long away from you. Last set. All right, now bring those knees into your chest, feet together, knees apart. Straighten your legs out, hold the underside of your legs for three, two, press those legs together, bend back in. So here's that same position you know, if the 100, if it's hard for you to have those straight low legs, this is the exercise that's gonna help you get that, right? Because it's not for as long. You've got the support of your arms holding your legs. Let's do two more. So in that moment, reach those legs out, flatten down through here, and bend back in. Now from there, place the hands at the back of your thighs, kick your legs up, straighten your legs out in front of you. Okay, so one thing that I struggle with is scooting around and fidgeting on my mat. Um, so you wanna kinda try to figure out like where do you need to be in your own home and try not to make unnecessary movements, scooting forward, backwards, all of that kind of stuff, okay? So um, thinking ahead, your open leg rocker is gonna come after your spine stretch forward. So where does your butt need to be to do the spine stretch forward into the open leg rocker, uh, into the corkscrew without having to move forward or backwards so that we can do all of these exercises in a row, okay? So if you can do that, let's go for it. So your feet are flexed, hip distant apart, arms are reaching straight out in front. Curl your chin to your chest, bend your spine forward. Feel your ribs pull backwards, flex your feet. Roll your spine up, get a little taller. Two more. Keep your arms up, shoulder height, energy through the arms, through the legs. No part of your body is sleeping. Last time. All right, here we go, friends. We're gonna roll our spine all the way up. You're gonna turn your palms to face one another, point your toes. Curl your tailbone under, roll back halfway. Then you're gonna use a little momentum, throw your legs up into the air, grab your ankles, lock your arms into your back, straight elbows, looking down. Roll to the shoulders, press into the legs, break with the arms. Roll to the shoulders, press into the legs, break with the arms. Try to keep your lower back round. 
Okay, one more. Okay, now we're gonna join the legs together. With control, walk down onto your back. Press your arms into the floor. We're gonna go into our corkscrew. We're gonna do one intermediate version and then we're going to advance it. Press into your arms, legs together, draw a right to left circle with both of your feet. Finish in the middle. Now draw a left to right circle and then finish in the middle. Keep doing that or if you wanna progress, you're gonna bring your legs up and overhead in the middle with the legs together. Then send your toes to the right. Roll down. Swing your legs from right to left. You roll up the left side of your spine and then your feet return to the middle. Your feet go to the left. Roll down the left side of your spine. Swing your feet away from you over to the right. Up the right side of your spine. Feet to the center. Feet go right. Roll down. Feet go away. Left. Up. Feet center. Feet go left, roll down, over to the right, up the right side, center, last set, right, roll down, over to the left, up, center, left, roll down. Now we're going to finish, you're going to roll up the right side, bring your feet all the way to center and roll your spine all the way down. Then from there, let's go up the way we came. So keep your legs out, curl your chin to your chest, send your legs out on a diagonal, walk your hands up your legs, and slide your feet out. Okay, the saw, I hope that went well. Corkscrew gets confusing, so just practice. <laughs> it's not very good advice, but it's really all I can say, is just keep doing it, and one day the light bulb will click. Your arms are gonna reach out to the side, you twist to the right, reach to the outside of your baby toe, roll your spine up. Twist left, round and reach, roll up, back center, twist. Thinking about pulling your arms away from one another. Can you find some more grace, even if this exercise is difficult for your body? Last time. Okay, then we're gonna turn ourselves onto our stomach for the swan. Okay, so we're gonna go into the rocking swan, but we're gonna do a few swan preps just to see how extension feels in our body for today. So your feet can be shoulder distant, your forearms on the mat. Okay, slide your chin away from your chest, look straight ahead. Start to press into your arms, lifting up to that full extension. Reach your legs away from you. Keep your legs active as you lower back down. So let's do that two more times. And I want you to focus on keeping your whole body active. So head reaching up, arms pressing down, legs reaching out, lengthening away from you. Don't relax as you go down. You're reaching the feet away, the head away. Feet away, head away, feet away. Feeling that back body connection. Last time. All right, now we're gonna lower everything down. Now you wanna picture that your body is going to look like um, the leg of a rocking chair. So how it, it goes up, curves down, and goes up again. And when it rocks, it literally rocks back and forth. One side of it doesn't fall or go slack. So that is gonna be your head to toes, okay? And then you're just gonna rock forward and back. So we're gonna narrow the feet. They can either be all the way together or hip distant apart. We're gonna take the arms, they're gonna go beside us. We're gonna push ourselves up, then we're gonna let go. Arms are gonna go to the side and you're gonna create some momentum with your arms and your legs, okay? We're gonna aim for three to five rocks, okay? Here we go, so legs are glued together. Lift the head, the neck, the chest up. That's gonna make it harder. Stretch the legs away from you. Here we go, let go. Legs, arms, legs, look up. Three, two, one. Sit back. Stretch out your back. Find a deep breath. Lower onto your stomach, forearms are up. Legs are hovering off the floor, and we kick. Finding stability by pushing your arms and your hips into the ground. All right, last four, three, two, 
double leg kick. We're gonna turn the head to the side, layer the hands behind the back. Three kicks with the legs. Reach those arms back, lift them up. Turn your head, three kicks. Reach arms back, lift chest. Three kicks. Two details I want you to hit is heels together. And then arms up, not just backwards. Last set. Heels together, arms up. Heels together, arms up. Now hold, let's refine this position. So feet are up, legs are straight, arms are lifting up, shoulder blades are squeezing together. And then relax. Okay, oh my goodness. Sit back to child's pose or to Joe's pose. So tucking those toes, rounding that back. If you're doing Joe's pose, there should be barely any weight on your head. Okay, you should be able to take it off. All right, restack that spine. All right, so awesome work. <clears throat> We're gonna go into our neck pull. So we're gonna go neck pull, into shoulder bridge, into spine twist, into jackknife. So again, for this flow, where do you need to sit on your mat in order to maybe not have to fidget as much as possible, okay? So your legs are out in front of you, feet are flexed. Hands are behind your head. Pull upwards with your hand and get long. Roll through your lower back, all the way down. Try to keep your hands behind your head as you bend up and over in towards your legs. Take a moment here. Roll back up, sit tall. Again, curl down. Roll up. Bend forward. All right. Now that we've got it in our body, let's do two more and really try to make your spine be like a wave. Curl down. Rolling up, bending forward, roll up. Again, like a wave, roll. Bend forward. This is, our gonna, this is going to be our transition, we roll down. We stay down, we slide our feet in, arms come beside us. Shoulder bridge, start to roll your hips up. Find your shape. Press the chest open, roll back down. We're gonna do two more preps. Peel your spine up off the mat. Find your shape up at the top, roll back down. One more to get yourself set up, roll up. All right, now think before you move. We're gonna take the right leg up to the ceiling, which means your left leg needs to take all of the weight onto it. Here we go, right leg goes straight up. We're gonna flex the foot, lower it down halfway, and kick up for five. Flex, point, flex, point. Two, one. Bend your right knee, place your foot on the floor. Think before you move. Left leg is gonna go up. Flex the foot, lower, kick, five. Four, use those arms. Three, two, one. All right, place the foot down, roll down with control. Spine twist is next, so we're gonna straighten the legs out, flex the feet, reach the arms backwards. We're gonna do a roll up, reach to the toes. Take a moment here, restack your spine. Only fix your pants if you're on camera. Open the arms out to the side. Press your legs together, get 10 inches taller. Twist to the right for three. A little further, two. Furthest one, lengthen up through center. Left side, three. Further, two. Furthest one. Two more sets. All right. Can you press your legs together a little more? Last set. Keeping the eyes along the horizon. All right, relaxing the arms down. Reach towards your toes, round your back. Roll all the way down. We're gonna go into our jackknife. Once you're down, bring your knees into your chest. So jackknife, the goal is to 
go into our rollover and then reach the legs straight up to the ceiling, toes on top of nose. And then we're gonna roll down like that. If you're not sure, I suggest you watch a few reps, rewind, and then do it with me, okay? Because you don't wanna do this with your legs over your head and your head turned to the side. It's not very safe for your neck, okay? So you're gonna press into your arms. Legs are gonna go out on the diagonal. Then they go overhead. Let's stay horizontal. Now push into your arms and lift your toes up on top of your face. Try to keep them like that. Push into your arms, roll down. Legs go away. Legs go horizontal. Toes on top of nose up. Imagine you're pushing your feet into a wall. Roll down. Two more times. Legs over. Legs to the sky. Okay, you should feel your legs engage here. Roll down. Really use those arms last time. Okay, resist gravity. And then hug those knees. Relax. Okay. What comes next? We're gonna come onto our side. Side kicks. We're only doing front and back, okay? So line up with the back edge of your mat. Place the hands at the bottom front corner. We're gonna do a corgi roll after this, which Setsu, if you're watching this, it's dedicated to you and Skittles. Um, so it's gonna be a fun transition, which means I'm gonna have my back to you and you might have your back to me as well, okay? So first though, we're gonna pick the feet up and actually, let's do this. So I want you to start in a long line. I'm not always great at making us start this way, but now I'm kicking myself for it. So start in a really long line, steady yourself with your hand. Okay, pick both of your straight legs up and place them at the bottom front corner. Flex your feet. That will make sense in a moment as to why I wanted you to do that. Lift your top leg up. Two kicks forward, reach back. Find control in your upper body. Power through the legs without disrupting your stability in your torso. Okay, four more. Reach back. Three, keep the neck long. Two, look straight ahead. Last one. All right, now, if you're not sure what the corgi roll is, watch. You're gonna place your feet together. I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna put them behind my back. So you're gonna think about almost passing through your swan dive. So I'm gonna pick my two legs up. I'm gonna roll onto my stomach. My chest and my legs are lifted. Then I'm gonna push my elbow down into the floor to roll myself to the other side. Once I'm on my side, whoo, I'm gonna pick my legs up and place them onto the bottom front corner of my mat, okay? Hope that went well. We're getting a second chance, but here we go. Hand comes onto the floor, top leg lifts, two kicks forward, reach back. Kick, kick, reach back. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Five more. Kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick, and reach. Can you push your bottom leg into the floor? Last three. Kick, kick, two. Last one. All right, here's that corgi roll. You're gonna place your feet together. You're gonna move them in line with the rest of the body. Hand behind your head. Slowly with control, flip onto your stomach. Find your baby swan. Press your elbow into the floor. Two, three, roll. Pick those legs up and place them at the bottom front corner. Amazing, good job. Push yourself up. Teaser time, I hope that went well. Another one, see, this is a good one to save and do it again and then you'll be moving faster than me, okay? And then you'll say, Kayla, film another one where you're not explaining things. Okay, so teaser is gonna go right into hips, twist, with stretched arms. So again, what do you need to do in order to set yourself up for both of these exercises? Okay, so your legs are gonna be straight out in front of you. Your hands are gonna go beside your hips and you're gonna start bent forward a little bit. You're gonna curl back. Now, just like in your open leg rocker, we're gonna push down into the hands to lift the legs up to 45 degrees. Reach towards those toes. Roll to the shoulders, keep your legs still. Reach to the toes. And again, a roll to the shoulders. Reach to the toes. Three more. Good, last two. Legs are energetic. Reaching away from you, last one. 
All right, now you're gonna lift your arms up. You're gonna place them behind you wider than your mat and bring your legs straight up to the ceiling. Now push your chest towards your legs. We're gonna draw right to left circle, back to the middle, left to right, just like our corkscrew. Right to left, never let your back arch. That's a danger zone. Last one each side. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna bend the knees. Let's just cross the ankles. <sighs> Good. So um, if you haven't already, um, I suggest if that exercise was really hard for you, you should do the workout called Creative Flow. If you're following along with me in real time, um, I filmed it last week. Um, I'm wearing a green unitard. We're gonna flip onto our stomach for swimming. So this sequence, we're gonna go from swimming to a plank, so leg pull, um, into leg pull front. I always get those two mixed up. Um, and then we're gonna keep flowing from there, okay? So come on to your stomach. Extend your arms and legs out. Lift your legs, your chest, your arms. Start to flutter, finding your breath. Exhale out. This is a long workout. Stay with me, okay? Last two. Last breath. Now place your hands down, sit yourself back, reach your arms forward. So now your child's pose, you wanna be situated on your mat so that you can shoot forward into a plank without having to adjust. So if you don't feel like you're there, make the adjustment now. Okay, you're gonna lift up and tuck your toes under. Look between your hands really far forward, like, like a dog doing its little stretch. And then you're gonna shoot forward into your plank. Push the chest away from the floor, strong through your arms. Lift your right leg up, shift back to stretch your calf, return forward, place the leg down. Lift the other leg up, shift back, return, foot down. Lift, shift, return, foot down. Lift, shift, last one each side. Okay, I have a fancy transition for you. So I'm gonna move to the right side of my mat so that my left hand and my left foot are on the right side of my mat, okay? If you're not sure what's happening, watch first, then do. Then I'm gonna turn my fingertips to the side I'm gonna circle my arm around and I'm gonna end up in a reverse plank. Then if that felt messy, you lower your bum down and you reset your position. Okay, so rewind, do that, and then meet me here. We're gonna curl the toes under, sorry, curl the hips under, lift yourself up. Now you're either staying here and breathing or to advance, you kick right, you kick left. Really strong through the backs of the legs. Last one each side. Now, I'm gonna take my leg that's closest to the camera, I'm gonna tuck it under, and I'm gonna flip myself so I'm onto my side. Holy foot cramp. Then I'm gonna move my hand so it's directly underneath my shoulder. You're looking for 90 degree angles here, hand behind your head. We're gonna do a contemporary variation. We're gonna lift the leg up. We're gonna bend the knees, the knees kiss. I'm lowering my hips down. You're gonna flex your foot and press out. Okay, so bend and press out. Okay, bend. And what I want you to feel here is those hips pushing forward. Your hips are gonna pull back towards your back heel and then your hips are gonna push forward so they end up right on top of your knee. Three more. Don't worry about this leg. That's just doing its thing. It's heavy. Last one. Okay, then we're gonna place the foot down. No, we're not. We're gonna bend the knee. We're gonna come all the way up. Arms to the T, okay? You're gonna tip over to the other side. Find those 90 degree angles, hand behind the head, lift your leg up. Bend those knees, press. Bend and press. Good, look straight ahead. 
and press. Hips move away from your computer or wherever you're looking and push forward. Last three. Two. Last one. All right, we're gonna bring those knees up. Ta-da. Okay, I'm gonna turn to face sideways. We're gonna do a thigh stretch here. Your heels are together, your knees are apart, your hips are pushing forward. So you're creating this really strong tripod, tripod with your lower body. Lift your arms to the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone under a lot. Lean backwards, lower your arms down shoulder height. Slowly lift yourself back up with control. Make sure you're not back bending, you're leaning back from your knees. You come back up. Press down into those shins. Three more. This is a very stiff exercise. Two. Okay, last one. Okay, big circle with those arms. Hands come under your shoulders. Step your feet back. We're gonna finish with our plank. Okay. I'm actually going to go from my knees today, and I meant we're going to finish with our push-up. We're going to do five push-ups and four. Elbows narrow. Last two. And one. Lift those knees up. Stand with your feet, toes apart, heels together. Bring your head between your arms without lifting your hips. Then, Start to walk those hands back towards those feet. Try to connect those heels to the ground with straight legs the best you can, but if you need to, you can bend. Pull your waist up. Glue your biceps by your ears and roll up. Reaching the arms to the ceiling. Standing really proud and tall. Connect your index finger together. Interlace the rest. Side bend to the right to center, lengthen up, side bend to the left. Let's do that one more time each side. Okay, last one. Good. And lower your arms down. Okay, thank you so much. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Don't hesitate to DM me on Instagram. Send me an email. I'm here to help you, especially with this stuff. Um, there's some great tutorials out there. Um, I'm gonna link below that creative flow that I talked about because it's really gonna help you strengthen some of these exercises. Um, and other than that, have a great day, have a great evening, have a great morning, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time. Bye.